Nearly 150 jobs are leaving Rhode Island. It's a story you saw first on WPRI.com. Texas-based Pinnacle Logistics, which helps Amazon handle distribution in Rhode Island, plans to shut down its Quonset Point facility next month and end operations at TF Green Airport leaving 149 employees stunned and in limbo. Eyewitness News reporter Sheena Loshudo joins us live from Warwick now with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. Sheena. Shannon and I talked to some employees tonight who were very upset when they heard the news because they say once July 31st rolls around, they're not really sure what they're going to do next. Bins marked Amazon, seeing some of their final days at TF Green. Pinnacle Logistics employees notified Friday morning. The company currently helping the online retailer run is leaving Rhode Island and moving to Bradley International Airport in Connecticut. 149 employees were given a 60-day notice. Eyewitness News was sent the letter. In it, the company writes the move has nothing to do with the location's performance and the decision to close on July 31st was made by Amazon. The company runs operations both at the airport and at a warehouse in North Kingstown. And following the sudden announcement, it's now facing complaints from a local labor union. We've obtained records showing Teamsters Union Local 251 filed a complaint against Pinnacle to the National Labor Relations Board last fall. The complaint alleged Pinnacle fired three employees trying to unionize the facility. A lawyer for the union tells us today they have filed another complaint, calling the sudden closure unfair and an attempt to retaliate against those who tried to unionize the operation. As for what's next in the Ocean State, the Rhode Island Commerce Corporation tells Eyewitness News officials continue discussing additional possibilities with Amazon. And Amazon tells us tonight if those Rhode Island employees are interested in working at the new Connecticut location, they'll be put at the top of the list. Reporting live in Warwick, I'm Sheena Loshudo, Eyewitness News.